Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm from Beijing Forest University, and as our, the representative, as the undergraduate um, master degree student, it's my ground and pleasure to be part of this seminar. Meanwhile, I feel pressure because we see the veterans and the masters around. In case of any uh, incomplete and inaccurate uh, part, please uh, uh, forgive me for any imperfection. The topic is seen that uh, the exploration, primitive exploration of our ancient uh, boat and the furniture. I finished the thesis lately. I have four parts of my. Uh, number two is are uh, the ancient, uh, the ancient uh, ship wood and ancient wood uh, furniture, and also the characteristics of the ancient uh, ship wood, and also the outlook of the ancient uh, ship wood. I. Uh, studied with my supervisor and advisor for this uh, one. I made a certain field study. During the field study, we didn't see much in the systemic study or literature related to the ancient uh, ship wood. So this is uh, the article based on the field study. What is uh, the ship wood? Ship wood is not a specifically wood. Rather, it's the wood can be used for the making of the sea ship. It can be dismantled from the uh, ships, and uh, so they may be there for several scores of years, maybe several hundred years. Uh, after um, ex uh, excavation, we, can, we dismantle it and to make the second use. The, all the ancient ones, they are retired ships, or maybe the one under the seed, under the seabed for many years. Those are the material for the ancient ship wood. It can be over half a century or maybe several centuries. They are high in density and uh, hardly in thickness and also have oily and also wax uh, features. can be 40 to 80 meters long. And it can, because of the, this good core qualities, they can weather the, the standard weathering and also the erosion of their uh, saline water, etc. And also the diameter can be as uh, big as 6 meters, the height can be 50 meters. So for, uh, the keel will be over two meters, the height of over two over fifty meters. They can be used by ancient people for the different kind of ones. For example, they have their different woods for the uh, uh, kun, kun the, the sandal wood, and uh, the teak, and also other ones. They made from Guangxi, Hainan, or Vietnam. We don't see much uh, exposure of uh, these ancient times. They material come from Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Burma, and the uh, Netherlands. This is specific uh, uh, features. It can be years for many years, maybe several years or several hundreds of years. So the weathering, they are more rigid, and so with the specific uh, features. The major characteristics is that it's heavier than the common ones. It's are the insect proof and the waterproof, and, and harder and more tight. And uh, it's not prone to deformation. And through the years uh, for weathering, it uh, can help as a mascot for the buildings and for the residents. Compared to the common ones, it has a specific textures and color. For this are uh, old boat wooden. You can see the black ones, the unevenly uh, drillings. These are naturally made. Through the years of soaking, there is oxidation. So the oxidation, there is the rust. The rust will be imburned, immersed into the wood. So we can see the beautifully uh, decorated black textures. And also, it uh, hard wood, hard wood. It has natural aroma, so you can see this uh, aroma from this one. You can see the it can it is an insect uh, proof, and also can prevent the currents uh, for bacteria. And from the obsolescent um, ships, the retired ships, they have the different rust. We have to get rid of the uh, the irons, the, the nails to make it a half finished product there. Through the polishing, through assembly, and the other processes, we can make the raw material for the uh, furniture. 
the processing has three different areas. Number one is a simple cleaning and assembly. Number two is a coating and the finishing on the surface. Last but least, we make the carbonization of the timber to there, which followed by painting. These are the, some of the making processes during my field study. This is a craftsman for the finishing, you know, the, for the craftsman on site. Nowadays, generally, the manufacturer will choose the first uh, process. They introduce the folklore, the tr tr uh, methodology. They introduce the. They don't use the coating so that they can give the exposure to the original color of the ones, the textures, etc. For this uh, design, it's different from uh, the traditional ones. They're rough in terms of lining, and uh, they have the original, the traces, the holes, and the carrings, and also the different zigzag uh, uh, colors. And the most uh, outstanding character is uh, natural, harmonious, and uh, natural, which can be embodied in the, part, in the last, in the important three. Number one is uh, specific in texture, with unique art, art crafts. Compared to the conventional colorful ones, it's a uh, reclusive and with a specific texture and color. On the surface, you can see the burnt uh, block and also the different uh, caverns and also the different irregularities of different drillings. Then the, uh, the unflatulated uh, the texture is the trace of the sea water. This is uh, the, uh, the landmark, the trademark for this uh, style. We have different texture, the feels. We don't have any two identical ones made of this one whatsoever. This is uh, the value where the value lies. It represents the highest uh, standard of this industry. So they are quite uh, brave in selecting the materials, and it is uh, eco-friendly, different from the other uh, furniture. So those are the uh, materials from the discarded ships. So, uh, it did not need the excessive processing. It can be right made into the furniture, and they will use uh, the handmade processes. And uh, for the joints, uh, they even didn't use the screws or the other hardware, or they might use uh, some joinery to connect the two pieces. So for this kind of a wood, before the secondary use, it has experienced uh, uh, even up, up to 100 years of the sun shading on the soaking. So it has a lot of good qualities. It is uh, waterproof, fireproof, and etc. And the third feature, it has a very good uh, culture in it. So it's kind of a low carbon life. So it can reflect those kind of a charming beauty. And uh, it can add to the cultural element uh, and artistic element. So compared uh, with uh, those uh, classic Chinese style, Southeast Asian style, or the simple European style furniture, then you can add to the beauty of your home. Especially, we have uh, the increasing demand uh, for the timber and for this uh, Asian ship wood uh, furniture. Uh, they are using the discarded materials uh, without uh, uh, fogging, logging, so that uh, they inherited the traditional processes uh, so that uh, they just uh, use uh, uh, very simple joinery work without uh, any uh, modern machineries. Uh, we took the pictures, uh, for example, like the partitions, and also on uh, the uh, shelves and uh, the tea table and chairs and etc. And also for the uh, floor, this background, the uh, wall, stairs and etc. The sofa, chairs and table and uh, for the uh, furniture to accommodate um, different types of the wines, alcohols. And what will be the uh, future for this uh, Asian uh, ship uh, wood? It just uh, widely recognized uh, in the market in the past uh, few years. So it integrated. Uh, uh, different uh, styles. Uh, we will call it uh, this kind of uh, primitive uh, style of life, uh, very suitable for 
the larger space, especially the villas in the suburbs, it can give you a very good atmosphere and the flavor of those uh, garden or courtyard life. It can also use for the other functions, uh, and uh, you, you can purchase one two pieces uh, to fit it in your home as you like. We we'll have different applications. Uh, And also, uh, the material use uh, is uh, more than three times of the material because 20% uh, to 50% uh, of the um, material or the wood from the Asian ships can be used for produce furniture. Now people are more eco-friendly, and we think that the wood or the timber might disappear. Such kind of Asian ship wood might not disappear. So it is quite rare, and it will shape a new trend for the home furniture. That's from me. Thank you. So, uh, Madam Ho is uh, quite a young um, postgraduate student. However, she has uh, published uh, three high quality uh, theses. For this uh, paper, uh, it's also formed a very unique perspective. And uh, after listening to her presentation, I think it's uh, quite uh, insightful. Maybe you will also purchase uh, the um, furniture made from the ancient uh, ship uh, wood. Any questions uh, for Madam Hu? This uh, gentleman. Thank you for this uh, wonderful talk. How big and uh, is the supply also in the future of these old ship timbers? And are they uh, are Companies, you, you mentioned that some of the wood came from the Netherlands even. Uh, do people invest in storing this wood so long that you can, uh, that, that must increase the cost? What is the, the, the actual price of this old ship timber? Okay, uh, I will answer in English or Chinese. Okay, I will answer in Chinese, sorry. Okay. Uh, for this older ship timber, uh, we have a very uh, small target audience. Uh, so we're advocating this uh, artistic uh, value and also this uh, uh, handmade processes without any high tech, uh, especially for the dismantling of the screws, etc. It should be made uh, in a manual way. So we have a very um, target, unlimited uh, target audience. Any more questions? Very simple question. What will be the prices for this uh, kind of furniture? Uh, it's almost <laughs> similar to those uh, rosewood furniture. Uh, and uh, Mr. Go has uh, reached on the and uh, long or etc. Those are quite uh, similar um, categories. How about uh, uh, your knowledge about the other types uh, of wood? Um, many uh, researched on the old ship uh, moves. Uh, for those kind of floating wood, they are also soaked uh, in the sea. They also have uh, the um, features uh, like waterproof, etc. For those floating wood, uh, they do not have those kind of uh, screws uh, or those kind of uh, uh, rusted part. They have some features uh, in common and uh, not easy to crack. So uh, they're almost uh, um, in the shape. They also embodied uh, the, sh uh, shock the shocks from the waves, so which cannot be achieved by uh, hand uh, work. They have some natural beauty. Even for the screw, they also have its own beauty in texture. The other ordinary furniture cannot achieve that kind of effect. Thank you. Thank you.